What's up, YouTube? This is Arl Yoshi as usual. I'm Max, the CEO of Yosh Inc., and I'm bringing you Let's Play Game Dev Tycoon. Last time we did some, uh, you know, we were we were busy working, busy making that money. We had a we had a few flops though, due to some bad matchups. Detective and strategy doesn't work. Zombies and strategy doesn't work. It appears that strategy doesn't work with a whole lot of stuff. But this time, I think we've got something good here. In case you uh, didn't watch last time or you just forgot, we're making Bloody Bastards, a mature-rated zombie action game for the PC and 3D graphics. So we're gonna start this off with starting development. Let's get this going. We're we're under a hundred thousand, so all right. We want some game tutorials here, and I don't think we need to worry too much about story, but I'll raise that a bit. I'll raise the engines. Uh, yeah, raise the. Engine needs to be pretty high up because it's 3D, so I think I'll have those two be up as high as possible. Maybe slightly lower engine, and soaring quests can stay all the way down. Alright, dev stage one is down. Now it's time to start some marketing. I can only afford to advertise in magazines, really. So, well, I think I can get loans and stuff, so... I think I might want to go with magazines and demos. But I'll wait on that. I'll do it after this happens. Uh, artificial intelligence, level design. Lower that slightly. Okay. Dialogue's gonna be down pretty low. And doing it now. Marketing. Oh, if I just if I can't afford it, it just doesn't let me. Okay. Magazines then. Let's go. Vina has announced they will release a new game, uh, gaming console in two months. The Vina Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sandwich promises a new kind of gaming experience. Vina said at the announcement, The Oasis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. Not my stuff. Vina ain't getting any of my shit. Uh, world design, lower all the way. Sound, lower slightly. And we're good to go. We got the hype train rolling. And we're finishing up the bugs. Come on. Finished! Shit, I am low on money. New record for both. Engine level up. Gameplay. Storing quests. Dialogues level up. Level design. Artificial intelligence. World design. Graphic. 3D graphics V1. Sound. And me. Let's release. New research available. Better dialogues. Oh shit, so low money. The first reviews for our newly released game, Bloody Bastards, came in. Please do good, please do good, please do good, please do good. Nine! Great game from Star Games! Yeah! Ten! My new favorite! We got a ten! Informed Gamer, thank you, we got a ten! And we got another ten! Outstanding achievement from Game Hero! And ten best of its kind from all games! Oh my god! Yes! Bloody Bastards! Thank you! Oh yeah, and we are we are generating a game report right now. Oh my god. This is amazing. Look at that. Bloody Bastards has achieved a company sales record with over 50,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Yoshi. Dude, over more like 91,000 sold. My god. Rank 1 already. Rank 1. Wow. Our post-release analysis of Bloody Bastards is complete. We got the following. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this type of game. And that's all we got from that. Bloody Bastards achieved a company sales record with over 100,000 units sold. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're over a million. Congratulations, you have made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further than mo further than moving into an... Uh, if you want to grow the company further, then moving into a new office is the next step. I found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? We can afford it. Let's do it. We're moving. We are here. Welcome to your new office. Uh, now you have a bigger office. You can also hire staff and forge a real, cl a world-class development to make even better games. I'm terrible at reading right now and speaking. Let's see. Fill a position. You have to complete the staff management training where you can hire someone. Uh, all right. Today, a new game platform, Vina Oasis by Vina, has been released. All right. Staff list. Okay. Uh, wait. Oh, there we go. Train. 
Okay, staff management I have to train. Alright. The latest game by Yoshik has received very positive reviews overall. Informed Gamer gave it a 10 saying, My new favorite! If Yosh Inc. continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. I like the sound of that, but let's get some new let's get some new workers. Can't have Tim doing all the work. Can't do anything else at the moment either, so. Well done, you've successfully completed your management course and you are now able to hire your very first employee. Let's do it! Alright. I'm not gonna do that. Uh. Uh. What do I wanna go for? Does it change anything? I don't think so. Game demo, I think. What does it mean by budget? Is that how much I have to pay to do this? I'll go 200k. Okay, yeah, I, ju I just get rid of it immediately, okay. Searching. Josiah Henry, experience level 2. Uh... Jesus Christ. Uh... I think we'll go with Amy Nenning. She has the... I mean, Cameron Ruiz is technically the best because he has the best everything except for research speed thing. But Amy Nenning has best of everything except technology, or like, it, it averages out. I think I'm going to go with Amy Nenning. Medium Games. Hello, Amy. Uh, should I train you in anything? Staff Welcome Training. I don't know if that really does anything, but let's do it. Bloody Bastards is now off the market. It sold 484,303 units, generating $3,390,156 in sales. Oh my god, Yosh Inc. Yes, I... We are the men. And the woman, actually. The man and the woman. Or rather, it's Tim who is, but... What's that bar there? I don't know. Whatever, uh... Let's develop a new game while we're here. You know what? It did good before. We're gonna... No, I don't want to be too repetitive, though. Uh, we're gonna try... Uh, going with the Ness. Or the Tess, I'm sorry. Uh, very good with Young. Let's go with a topic... Of... Comedy is good with the Youngsters. Superhero, ooh, maybe super, ooh, should Power Guy make a comeback? Power Guy. No, I don't think he should come back yet. I think I'm going to go with comedy. Mm. What has comedy been good with? I don't remember. I don't know if I should maybe even do this. Uh, I love to, uh, I have to take some risks. I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go for it. We'll try a because co comedy is good with the youngsters. No, we need to we need to experiment more. What am I thinking? Wild West. We're gonna do a Wild West action game. Oh, but action is not very good on the test, is it? Oh no, action is pretty good on the test. All right, it's a it's a thing. We'll we'll go for it, and we're gonna go with uh, hmm. We need a good good name for a sheriff, I think, or a, or a deputy, or what's the term I'm thinking of? Just a cow mysterious cowboy guy. Uh. The Bone Ranger. Let's go for it, man. And we're going with 3D graphics, everybody. 3D. Alright. It's a Wild West action game. We should have game tutorials, just to uh, be sure about that. We want some good gameplay here. Race the story quest a bit. Engine, I can lower you. I think I might... Nah, I'll keep, I'll keep save game there. Let's do this. Actually, maybe a bit more to story and quests. But not linear story, I think. Actually, fuck it. Excuse me. I'll wait a bit before I advertise the demos. Here's where I'm doing it, I think. 
Start a... Uh, that might be a... I don't want to go too crazy just because I'm I have a lot of money from that one game because I might not be able to recreate it. I think I'll go with the small marketing campaign just this once and see how it works out. Alright. Artificial intelligence, way up there. Level design, lower you a bit and you there. Okay, there. There. The hype's going. Oh wow, the monthly cost has jumped up. Well, that's expected, but alright then. Didn't I just do this? No, I guess not. Uh, wow, it could actually probably stay the same as it is, so let's go. Uh-oh. Oh no, it seems that Bloody Bastards had quite a few undiscovered bugs when we released it. Some of our customers are having a bad time with us and they demand that we patch the game. We can either spend the money and time to patch it or ignore their pleas. If you want to patch the game, then click on a character and use the action menu to develop a patch. Make sure you don't wait for too long. Let's do it. Develop a, a patch. You can you can work on that, girl. You got this, lady. And there's no bugs in this one, so let's do it. New record. New record. Engine. Gameplay. Story quest leveled up finally. Dialogues. Level design. Artificial intelligence. World design leveled up. Graphic. 3D graphics V1 almost leveled up. Sound. And me. And Amy Nenning. Let's release it. New research available. Simple cutscenes and open world. Oh yeah. Alright, Amy, you developed that thing. The first reviews for our newly released game, The Bone Ranger, came in. Please, please, please. Seven, good game. I'm settling, I'm settling with this. I'm fine with this. Seven, their focus on artificial intelligence serves this game very well. Six, shows potential from Game Hero. And seven, Beautiful from all games. The Bone Ranger. Alright, Amy. Patch complete. Let's. Can I not generate a report? Oh, I have to. I think I have to. Yeah, I have to choose someone to actually generate it. I've had a loss so far, but the, the money hasn't even come in yet, so. Let's do it. Dogs are barking. That's fun. Meanwhile, you... Let's have you do some research, actually. Because I, I I keep forgetting that I can do, do it this way now. Uh, research... Oh, you, you start researching some simple cutscenes. Yosh Inc. has recently released a much-needed patch for Bloody Bastards. One fan said, I love companies like Yosh Inc. They don't just milk their customers for more money, but also understand our concerns and make sure that we can enjoy our games. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy. I'm glad you enjoy that because that is exactly how I'd be doing it. Our post-release analysis of the Bone Ranger is complete. We got the following results: Wild West and action is a good combination, and level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. All right, you, me, Tim, start doing some research on. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Let's start with a bit of world. Let okay. Let's go through all this stuff. We have a lot of things that we need to do. I think we could. Pr we should probably get some new s topics in here. Let's go with the mu let's go with music. Start researching music. Meanwhile, I'm gonna fill a position. Budget of 100,000. Actually, 200,000 did good last time. Game demo. Start looking. And everything's going up. And completed simple cutscenes. Uh jo Jake Tran. Uh Ooh, Margaret Sanders, you're looking uh not too good, to be frank. Uh, Ashton Evans is looking pretty good. I think Ashton Evans is gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ashton. Let's go higher. Achievement unlocked. Diversity have male and female staff. All right, you. I want you to start some research. I want you to begin re. Let's let's start going down the list. I think you start researching casual games. And you're done researching that, so I want you to start researching better user experience. I am spending a fair bit of money to do some contract work in a bit. You. Actually, you know what? Here's what I want to do. What contract work can I do? I 
Actually, I don't know if the uh, contract work will really help a whole lot. I think I'm... Oh, the Bone Ranger's out of the market. Sold 41,980 units, generating 900 or 293,881 in sales. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to have you do a bit more research. You're going to research the level editor. Let's get all this research done, and then we'll start doing games. We'll do another game after this. Also, Ashton, you're the first person whose face I can actually see. Uh, do a bit of training for you. Do the staff welcome training now. I think I, you could do a bit of training, too. Uh, game dev gems. I don't know what all these are going to do. Let's go with don't repeat yourself. You start researching... Let's go with another topic, I think. Romance. None of these are very good. Go with romance, I guess. And meanwhile... I have to wait until some people aren't working. Hi again! I heard uh, I heard that you've been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow your team. I've updated our client list, so if you're looking for some contract work, let me know. Thank you, Jason. Medium-sized contracts have been unlocked. Alright, let's uh, develop a new game. Let's go with a mature game, I think. Zombies have been good for mature games. Now we're not going to go with a casual. Uh, hmm. We might want to pay for that, but... Actually, I don't want to be repetitive now that I think about it. I think I'm just going to go with everyone. And uh, let's do a music game, actually. Music. Ca a casual music game. For the, the tests. And, you know, we'll even make it for young people. So that we get in... So that, you know, appeal. Actually, let's go with everyone. Get a bit more stuff from that. Uh, and of course, you know, Five Live 2. Ah, uh, what should we call this one? I got it. Tromboner. All right, let's uh, let's do it. It's for everybody. A nice casual music game for the tests. And uh, do we need? To, yeah, let's go with 3D graphics. And we could use researching those a bit more, but. And uh, you know, you, he's he's the one working, so uh, no no story is really needed for this. Gameplay, I could lower engine. Actually, I'll oh, have gameplay there. But, uh, game tutorials and save game. Alright, that's that seems good. How long is he going to be training for? Alright, I should probably market it also. I think I'll just go with the uh, magazines and demos. Let's do it. Doesn't need dialogues. That's why I need artificial intelligence. Level. I don't. I don't know what to go with for a casual game. I'll rate. I'll have everything. You know what? I'll have everything be even, just so I can you know get a test without taking too much of a risk. My monthly costs are all oh, right because I have to pay employees. Right. Let's go with sound. Obviously needs to be very high up, and the graphics. I'll lower that a fair bit. Right now, world design can stay where it is. Let's go with it. Alright, I'm under 2 million. Today, Nintendo announced the much anticipated successor to the popular t test console. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with state of the art 16 bit graphics and sound. It is simply super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super Test. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems they will not be disappointed. Let's finish this game, get rid of those bugs in, in a second. Alright, let's start getting rid of these bugs, buddy. And let's finish. Tromboner, everybody. Let's see how this goes. Engine. Gameplay. Story and quests. Dialogues. Level design. Artificial intelligence. World design. <clears throat> graphic. 3D graphics V1 leveled up. Sound. Me. Amy. And Ashton. Let's release it. The first reviews for our newly released game, Tromboner, came in. I have a feeling this is not going to be very good. 
Five has its moments. Yeah, this one's not a very that's this one's a bit of a bust. God damn, three, waste of time. Three, not much fun. And four, meh! Let's generate a report at least. Uh you. Generate game report. I still have the Pong thing right beside me. Apparently I just can't work otherwise. You generate that. You should train a bit, I think. Well, that's what that does. You go with Game Dev Gems, and I'll train you and make me think. Oh, I lost fans. Eh. I had a fail. Our post release analysis of Tromboner is complete, and we got the following. Uh. Oh. Okay, I did, uh. Perhaps I should just, uh, develop a new game. We're gonna redo it. We're gonna call it, uh. We're gonna call it Drum One Out. Young Music. Casual is good, great combo. And uh, for the test, once again, make it young. Five Live Two. And this time we'll we'll be better. We'll be better at it. We can do it. 3D graphics. Let's do it. All right, you. Engine. Not be not very important. I'll lower that. We got gameplay. Today, the new game platform Super Test by Ninvento has been released. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a problem. Ah, uh, well. All right. Artificial intelligence not important. Level design, dialogues. I think we'll keep level design as the high one there. Now, I'll start marketing, but I'm going to be careful about this one. I'm just going to advertise in magazines. And... Raise graphics, I think. I think otherwise it's good. I keep losing fans for Tromboner, I'm sorry! Trombone is now off the market. It sold, yeah, all, all those numbers. I don't feel like saying it anymore. New record, okay. Let's see this stuff. Dialogues, all right. Seems to all be pretty good. All right. Release it. The first reviews for a newly released game, Drum One Out, came in. Did I do good this time around? Oh my god, I did worse, probably. That one showed 10 for a moment. Can I get that, please? Six shows potential. Drum One Out is doing better than Tromboner, at least. Oh, seven! Beautiful! Okay. Alright, you know what? I'll take it. Let's, uh... You, Ashton. I want you to generate the game report. The latest game by Yoshink has had reviewers scratching their heads. Rather than bringing a new and innovative game to market, the company delivered another music casual game, which is more or less the same setting as their previous game. One reviewer commented, I think Drum One Out was simply developed too soon after the previous game with not enough innovations in technology and design. Don't worry, because I've got a thing for you. You, start researching. You, research open world. And you, research better dialogues. Get lots of research going, and also we're going to fill a position here. 100k, 100K budget. Uh, complex algorithms this time around. Start looking. Our post-release analysis of Drum One Out is a story and quest seems to not be important. Gameplay is very important. Okay. I made a mistake doing a... Uh, the market really doesn't like when we publish very similar games too close to each other. Yeah, I probably should not have done that. We try to focus our entire team on the development of a game. Then I'll wait until everybody's done before I do stuff. Better dialogues and all that. Alright. Uh, 
Alex, you're not looking too good, though you're cheap, at least. Oh, wow, your design sucks, Larson! Hi, right, Larson. Uh, I'll go with you. I guess I could probably do a bit better with uh, how I'm doing stuff. But... Alright, anyway, you uh, start training in the staff welcome training. And while that's going on, time to develop a new game. And we're gonna see if this one saves us. We got, we got, we got, we got to pick up the slack here. Pick a platform. We're going back to the PC, okay? We're gonna do mature on the PC. And zombies do pretty good, but maybe we should try something else. Why don't we go with a mature? Post-apocalyptic action game. It's a great combo. PC is uh, pretty good about that action and mature. Post-apocalyptic action game. Yeah, crack my neck. You know that's what I'm gonna call it. Neck cracker. Let's do it. We're going with 3D graphics again, or should we go with the 2D graphics version two? You know we're going with 3D graphics. Play it safe. Alright, you. There's a good engine here. We need some decent story and quests, but the gameplay above all. Let's get a linear story in here. Actually, no, no linear story. The media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. In a surprising announcement, Vani, a company known for General Electronics, has presented a prototype console called the Play System. Apparently, Vani has collaborated with Nintendo, creators of the beloved and successful TES and Super TES consoles, to develop what is basically a Super TES with a CD drive. This would be the world's first console using a CD drive. Journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Vani and Nintendo jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Nintendo announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has it the dist distribution deal co the companies had worked out was unfavorable to Nintendo handing over much of the control to Vani. This seems to be the end of the play system. Yeah, we all know how that turned out. And... You. Oh. Netcracker. Uh, good AI. Level design we can lower. A bit. Dogs, you're not really needed. Let's go with that. And you, start mark... Uh, you. Can I make someone mark it? Or do I just... There we go, that's how I do it. You know what? This one's all or nothing. We gotta go all out with it. Let's do it. This is what it's all about, everybody. We're putting our hopes on the line. World design, no... Graphic, yes. Sound, yes. Right there. We need Netcracker to save us, everybody. In two months, the test will be taken off the market. Yep, it's all about the super test now. Alright, get rid of the bugs. Drum went out, is now off the market. All that stuff. It's good. Let's do it. Engine. Alright, let's see how this all goes down. I'll get some water while it does. Let's release. Oh wow, that's a lot of monthly loss. The first reviews for a newly released game, Netcracker, came in. This is what it's all about, everybody. Fingers crossed! Six shows potential. Oh no. Six, they're focused on artificial intelligence to serve this game very well. Six, action games work well on PC. Six, could have been better. Lots of sixes. Sixes are back. Uh, Tim, generate a game report. There we go. Meanwhile, I'll train you... Game design for pirates. And you on code incomplete. And you start researching medium game. Oh no, I don't have the money. Don't I? Oh, I don't have the research points. That's what it is. I was doing so much research lately. That's what it is. 
Post recent analysis of Mac Records complete, we've got the following. Gameplay seems to be quite important for this type of game. Additional insights. We should try to focus our entire team on the development of a game. That has anything to do with it? Okay. Oof. I think we should end it off there, at least this episode. I. Uh, Alright, we've got plenty of money for that. But you. Let's have you training with Game Dev Gen. Actually, something good. Uh, something that will really help. Let's go with this. You need more speed. Alright. And train you, lastly, on Make Me Think. Oh, I don't have the research points. Never mind. Uh, you do nothing. All right. With that, everybody, uh, let's wait until Netcracker ends its uh, run. But then I think we're going to end this episode off here. So, uh, Yosh Inc. is not doing too good at the moment. But it, we, we, we can survive. Yosh Inc. will prevail. Netcracker is now off the market. It sold 39,506 units, generating $276,556 in sales. All right, everybody. Don't worry. We had a bit of a fall, but it's fine. We took some risks. They were bad, but that happens to everybody. Next time, we're going to do better. I'm Max. I'm the CEO of Yosh Inc., and we'll see you next time on Game Dev Tycoon.